everybody and welcome back to the Lauren Alexis channel. I'm the Lauren Alexis. If you're new to this channel first, go ahead and subscribe. Um, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys everything I use on my skin. Um, we're going to be getting all the way unready with me. I'm going to show you guys everything I do before I go to sleep. So put on your pajamas. Get this hair out your face, which I'm about to do. And let's get right into today's video. Okay, so the first thing that I like to do um, before I wash my face, take any of my makeup off, is put something around my head. I don't like anything getting around my hair or in my edges or anything like that. So first thing we're gonna do is put something around our head. If you don't have one of these, baby vests. These are really, really good little headbands that you can put on and they really keep everything out your face. All right, so now that your headband's on, like mine is, the first thing I do is take some makeup wipes and take the makeup off my face. Personally, I feel like don't ever just take makeup wipes, wipe your face off, and then go to bed. I'm sorry, but that's trifling. I mean, unless you're drunk, you had a late night, you can't control what happens, it is what it is. But when you wake up, girl, definitely wash your face. I feel like uh, makeup wipe only gets surface level and if you really want to get into your skin and into your pores and stuff You're definitely gonna have to wash your face. So First thing we're doing is taking off these lashes Once I take my lashes off, it's over slow if a move pops back up or a link. I'm not going I already took my lashes off like Like once you take your lashes off the stress of the day It's come to an end. You can breathe you can chill all that all that good stuff So with the makeup wipe, it definitely does give you an illusion that all your makeup is off, but it's not. I'm about to show you, it's not. But I really do like how the makeup wipe pretty much gets the heavy stuff off. And now I'm about to looking like a man, so that's cool. We can go ahead and get started in the face part. Um, I'm gonna show you guys what I use to wash my face. But yeah, the makeup wipe pretty much did all the heavy lifting and pretty much got everything surface level off my skin. The first thing that I'm gonna be using is the Neutrogena Deep Cleanser. And I'm gonna have everything that I use in the description. Um, so this is what I usually do. I'll use something a little bit more like exfoliating in the morning because I wanna wake myself up. But then in the nighttime, I'm gonna use something a little bit more gentle because I have nowhere to go. I'm just going to bed. So, oh. the first thing we're going to do is wet this face up. And when I'm about to go to bed, I always use warm water. Cold water tightens your face. Like, it really tightens your face. That's why people splash cold water in their face in the morning time. Um, like I said, I don't got nowhere to go. It's night time. So, we're going to use warm water when washing our face. Not too hot, because I don't do the hot water vibe either because I just don't like hot stuff on my skin but I'm just going to apply it and I'm so sorry y'all my eyebrows need to be done they are not giving done right now they look crazy all right then I'm going to take my I really don't even know what these are called I was literally just put onto them like a few months ago but I don't know what these are called but you can literally get them at any store any Walmart any Target when I edit this, I'll have the name up, but right now I really don't know what it's called. So I'm gonna just use this on my face and I'm gonna do this for like a minute just to make sure everything's really off. So now that that's done, if you guys look, you can see that that there's still makeup residue even after I use the makeup wipe. That's why I say always make sure you wipe your face. 
And I like to use one of these because, let's be real, my fingers was never getting all the makeup. My fingers was never, no, my fingers weren't doing this. So I have to use one of these because they really get into my face. They really get into my pores. And it's just very necessary. Like, once I started using it, I couldn't. Like, I can't just wash my face regularly anymore. But, but now, I'm going to wash my face off. And then we're going to move on to the next step. All right, and right now my skin is just, it's looking, it's looking okay. It's looking pretty mediocre, but she's definitely really dry. So we're gonna try to get the moisture on her. I'm very uneven toned. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but my skin color is not evenly distributed out through my face like one tone. So on top my face is lighter and then towards the bottom my face is a little darker. So I'm always looking for complexion sticks or things that really just even out your skin tone. So I'm gonna show you guys what I use. So I use this Bird Bees complexion stick. And basically what this does is pretty much just even out your skin tone. I've been Y'all, I was so pressed to do this little hand thing. Like I just feel like every YouTuber I've seen has done this. Okay, period. So now I'm a real YouTuber. I'm using it for a while now and it really does work for me. Like it really evens out your skin tone and it's really helped me because I have a little bit of dark spots as well around my face. So I'm just gonna use this. This has tea tree oil in it and tea tree oil is very harsh. So if you do use like say an exfoliating scrub, do not use something like this on your face after because it's going to burn. Like she's going to burn. I've had to find out the hard way. Like that's quite painful. So definitely use this after you've used um, a soap or a cleanser that's not that harsh, doesn't have exfoliating beads or anything like that because it's dead gonna burn. And tea tree oil is really harsh. Remember that like tea tree oil is really harsh. So now I'm just gonna use this on my face. The next thing that I'm going to do is put on my deep cleansing cream. This is also a Burt's Beast product. I don't know how I heard about them, but I watched this review on YouTube about like deep cleansing creams, I mean, because like I said, I have really um, dry skin. And someone actually said, well, someone who had skin that kind of looked like mine, um, said that this was a really good cream if you have dry skin or combination skin. And I'll have it all in the description though. But like, these are all drugstore products, so. Do not break in pockets to have clear skin over here. So I'm gonna just rub that in. I don't like to use a lot because it is summertime and nine times out of 10, I'm going to sweat this off. So I only like to put a little bit on, but enough to that my face, to the point where my face isn't dry. I don't know about y'all, but like, when I take my makeup off, I be feeling right like a nigga. Like, I really be feeling like a man, but not to say that I need it, but sometimes I feel prettier with it on and ain't nothing wrong with that. The next thing I'm going to do is wait like five minutes. What I wanna make sure of is that the cream has really seeped into my skin. Um, that usually take me five to 10 minutes because like I said, I have really dry skin. And then what I'm going to do after the 10 minutes is up, sometimes 15, or sometimes like I'll watch a movie or a TV show and then after the TV show or movie's done, I'm going to take my Trader Joe's Rose Water Facial Toner. I swear by this facial toner. Oh my gosh. This hydrates the hell out of your face. It hydrates your face so good and it's very refreshing. Also, rose water is... I feel like if you're gonna go for a toner, use something with rose water in it because it's not harsh, it has no alcohol in it. She's just lit. So I'm just gonna use this. And I honestly found out like about the whole rose water phenomenon from this vlog. Well, it's called tianmarie.org. And basically she just tells you about like great skincare products, beauty, lifestyle. So I'm gonna link that below too. So you guys can check that out. I find out different like knickknacks when it comes to skincare and self-care all right so now that the cream has really soaked up into my skin i'm going to use this toner and then i'm gonna just let it dry all right 
So now that that's really seeped into my skin, what I'm going to do is keep this usually close to me, usually by my bed fat. And pretty much every time I wake up to pee, I'm going to use this because like I said, it's very, very hydrating. And like I said, my skin is really dry. The last thing I'm going to use is some lip balm. I think your lips are very, very, very important. And I really like my lips to look really plump and really red. And right now they don't. So I'm gonna just put on some lip balm. However, if I was going to like be on FaceTime with somebody like a man or someone, I would throw on some lip gloss. But right now we're not doing that. So I'm gonna just put on some lip balm. And this is just the Burt Bees um, lip balm. I don't know if you guys know about this, but baby, this lip balm, I swear by it too. She's peppermint, she's lit. We like her a lot. Mm. And that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching so, so much. Thank you for getting on ready with me and seeing my skincare. If you guys like this video, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.